Welcome back to SureCast. And today is season one, episode eight. Today, who we are going to be shark talking to is Miss Steve. We also have Shark Talk, where we talk about random things. And we also have some new friends joining us. So excited. We'll see you soon. Please like and subscribe. Bye. Hello, and welcome to Shortcast Episode 8. My name is Alexis. My name is Izzy. My name is Bella. And my name is Addison. And our amazing tech person, Austin. Today, we'll be interviewing a fourth grade teacher named Miss Deep. Welcome. <laughs> welcome to Shortcast, Miss Deep. Thanks for having me, Alexis. So, how was your day today? It was a little wild, I'll say, with the severe weather event that we had at school today. But um, after that, we got back into the swing of things. Were any of your kids kind of scared during it? After um, a few minutes, I uh, could tell that a few students were getting a little bit uneasy. They started to realize what that it wasn't a drill um, like we'd practiced in the past. It was an actual weather event, so they got a little bit nervous, but we just talked to the kids and told them they were safe in the hallway where they were, and everybody was fine. I honestly did not know what was going on. Like After a while, I'm like, why are we still doing this? And like I said, I still thought it was a drill. My friend's like, this is real. I'm like, oh, no. That's what I thought, too. It took me a few minutes to realize that it wasn't a drill. Tell us about your family. Well, Alexis, I am married to Charles Deep and have two lovely bonus daughters who are high schoolers. One's a senior at Henry Clay, and the other one is a sophomore at Henry Clay. I've got oh. two dogs, um, Penny and Zoe, who... Um, keep me busy at home as well as the kids and I am one of three daughters um, in my family from back home. How old are your dogs Penny and Zoe? Four and five. Zoe's the baby and Penny is the older dominant pup. Hmm. What kind of dogs are they? Mutts. Hmm. <laughs> Little Heinz 57. We got um, Penny from the Lexington Humane Society and got Zoe from uh, a rescue in Louisville. So hmm. they are sweet pups. How long have you been a fourth grade teacher? That's a hard question. I started off teaching third grade back in 2000. And uh, it was actually, I guess, the year 99 and 2000. So I'm kind of showing my age here. After about six years, I became the school writing specialist. And from there, just kind of did some <coughs> Whatever work it was the principal needed me to do, whether it was intervention groups or working with the accelerated groups. When the pandemic um, started, I uh, ended up taking a fourth grade classroom because another teacher had resigned at the beginning of COVID. And um, from there, I've been teaching uh, a fourth grade homeroom um, ever since then. Cool. So it's hard to put a number on that. That's really cool. Yeah. Lots of different. Um, that's a great thing about teaching is you can kind of find different areas that you like to work with and change it up a little bit if you want. Also about teaching, what is your favorite part about teaching? It would have to be seeing student growth. Um, one thing that I missed too when I was not a homeroom teacher is having that family feeling um, with my group of kids and, um, and then seeing that growth over time throughout the year. Um, seeing them grow from, you know, August to May, it's uh, very rewarding. Are you in contact with any of your former students? I sure am. I see my lovely uh, former fourth grade students every morning on the way to their fifth grade classroom in the hallway. And then at the end of the day, they like to stop by and say goodbye. It's, I really love being able to see them every day. Did you have any other jobs before teaching? Te teaching? I sure did. Um, through high school, I worked for my dad. He owned a glass business, and I was kind of worked in the office. In college, I worked um, in an office at UK with their like work study program, and um, then I also worked for a local um, catalog company in customer service. And I worked in a bridal store selling wedding dresses, um, and then I became a teacher. Hmm. Wow, that's a lot of jobs. Yeah, true. <laughs> Well, also, so so your dad did glass blowing. 
Not glass blowing. That's people get confused a lot of times when I say he had a glass business. Yeah. He did glass like storefronts for businesses. Hmm. He did windshields for cars. He did mirrors for people's homes, things like that. Since we're talking about glass blowing, what is your opinion on it? Glass blowing, I love it. Did it, you know there's a new um, spot in Lexington that has glass blowing? I did not know that. Have you seen the um, TV show on Netflix, Blown Away? No. And it's about a bunch of people um, who compete to make the best glass like things, and and like and they'll win like a whole bunch of money at the end if they win. I'm gonna have to catch that. Yeah. Um, but if any uh, viewers or listeners out there um, are interested, uh, Trifecta, um, I believe it's on National Avenue, or, or maybe it's um, North Ashland. Um, they have glass blowing. They have a glass museum. You'd be able to go in and not museum, but a glass um, um, storefront uh, where you can view mm -hmm. the the glass blowing. But it's a really cool spot. Mm -hmm. What is your dream vacation? I've had it. I mean, there's many more I'd like to do. I'm sure, but. Um, one of my favorite, most memorable trips was to Iceland, and my husband and I, we were, um, we drove around the whole um, island of Iceland, uh, which is actually the same, like, square footage as the state of Ohio, so we got to see um, glaciers and volcanoes, not erupting volcanoes, but just um, dormant volcanoes Whoa. and um, amazing sights. What would you do if the volcanoes did erupt? <laughs> Steer clear. <laughs> uh, another uh, vacation that I really have great memories from, um, we traveled to um, <coughs> France. We visited um, <coughs> Paris and Nice. We went to Milan. We've been to the Cinque Terre. Um, all have great memories. Have you, ha have you heard of the show Wednesday? Love it. Who is your favorite character? Enid, Wednesday, Tyler, Xavier. Of course, Brandon. Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. And, you know, for my age group, um, the Adams Family was a show uh, while I was growing up, so it was kind of fun to <coughs> see what they would do with her character present day. The Adams Family. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da da da. I had to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you did. What um, kind of student were you in school? I was a good student. Um, I was a teacher pleaser. I worked really hard. I never wanted to get into trouble. Uh, one of the moments when I realized I wanted to become a teacher is when my second grade teacher, Miss Ledford, uh, let me grade the spelling test with her red felt mm. tip pen. That's cool. uh, now I hate grading papers, but uh, that was a fun time for me <laughs> to think about, you know, what did I want to do when I grow up? I have a weird question, but if you were a myth mythical pet, what do you think you would be? If, if you were dead. If I could create a mythical pet, I love dogs. I'm a dog person, obviously, but just be a little bit better if they could open doors and let themselves in and out. I mean, I know there's doggy doors, but I don't want to drill a hole in my door. So if they could just like open and close the doors, if they could wipe their paws, <laughs> um, if they could kind of tell me what was on their mind instead of whining at me, that would be, that'd be great. Hmm. Have you ever wanted to go to a mythical place? All the time. And that's why I read books. Um, some of the books I read uh, take me to different lands, different times. Um, some of my favorite books, um, Circe, for instance, is a... Thank you, Austin. Circe is a book about um, a Greek... Um, let's see, she's not a goddess, but she's like a nymph or some... Uh, not a nymph. Well, I can't remember what she is. But Let's anyway, see. she is, yeah, so it takes you back to a mythical time um, where there are Greek gods and goddesses. Uh, another book that I've just read uh, this year is The House in the Cerulean Sea, and that's um, a fantasy story as well. It has a lot of mythical creatures and mythical lands. And then you can read books like um, one this summer I read was called One Italian Summer, where you can, the author did such an amazing job of, helping the reader feel like they were right there um, in the blue seas in Italy. Mm. And one more question. Do you like dogs or cats better? Dogs. <laughs> no. Also, by the way, how many kids are in your classroom? 
28 students this year. My line goes on forever down the <laughs> hallway. What's um, your favorite subject to teach your kids? Hmm. You know, if you would have asked me about four years ago, I would have said reading and writing. But now I'm really digging math. I think <laughs> math, you can see a lot of the growth. You see a lot of the light bulbs go off in students' heads. You can see that day-to-day -day growth. And um, I, I think um, really enjoying seeing how kids are able to work out math problems in all different ways. What is your favorite subject? What do I like to learn? I like science. You oh. know, science is fun to teach, too. But I really enjoy um, learning about science. Why did you de decide to come to Sandersville? Because, so this is really also going to age me, I taught at Lindley Elementary, which is on Georgetown Road, for several years. When they closed that school and they had built Sandersville, most of the teachers from Lindley just moved over to Sandersville. Now, why have I stayed at Sandersville for the past 24 years? I love the kids. I love their parents. The administration's always been really great. Um, and it's just worth it, worth it to stay here. And one more question. Um, if you would, how many dogs would you have if you could adopt more than you have right now? No more than two. My husband wants more puppies, and I said, no way. Why not more puppies? Because, <laughs> just Why? because I seen on the news, and there was these dog chihuahuas that were um, basically left behind. And uh, do they need homes? Yeah. Oh, I would I would like to adopt one, but my dog and the chihuahua <coughs> would probably try try to attack each other. My dog's not that friendly with other dogs. He just barks, and also if they try to get close to him, he'll run away because he's also scared. Yep. My two dogs are enough. They they uh, demand a lot of attention as well, and they get jealous of each other if one gets attention over the other. So I think two's good for now. Does your dogs have a favorite toy? Because my cats have a favorite toy, and it's their chicken toy. So does my dog. They do have. It's funny to see them nose around in the toy basket for the one <laughs> they want to play with. So some days it's one toy. Some days it's the next. My dog, like, he has, like, this toy that tastes like, bacon and then like you'll be like playing around with it in the morning it's like sliding every sliding it everywhere and also do you play any games with your dogs like yes we play um hide and seek so i can have my dogs go sit on my bed and i'll close the bedroom door i'll go well actually i don't even close the bedroom door i leave that open <coughs> so i go and hide like behind a couch or behind the piano or behind a chair and then I say come get me and they jump off the bed and they sniff around until they find me yeah my dog my dog and I we like to play tag like he doesn't really like like except like whenever I don't do tag though he starts chasing me around he'll chase me but whenever I tra tag him <coughs> he doesn't run after me <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that's do you play him. piano by any chance I don't. We have a piano in our home uh, for my oldest daughter, Madeline. Uh, she just kind of plays around with it a little bit. But, uh, you know, one of my regrets um, from growing up is quitting piano lessons when I did. I only stuck with it for about a year. When things got pretty challenging, I decided I didn't want to do it anymore. But I really wish I could play uh, an instrument like the piano. Yeah, I'm going to continue doing piano lessons because I want to be... And the best players I can be and learn a lot more <coughs> hard songs. I know. I heard you play last year. How many years have you been playing now? I honestly don't know. Maybe like four <coughs> or five, maybe. I don't really know. Uh, and if any of you have not heard Alexis, she sent in a video last year. Her mom did, I think. And we played that for the class, and that was really great. What is your favorite music? You know, I like all kinds of music. So um, I would say, you know, anything from classical to current day. I don't necessarily have a favorite. Um, 
I could say it's probably unpopular opinion, but country music's not my favorite. Um, I like Wolf Pen Branch. That's, uh, you know. Go, Mr. Show. <laughs> I grew up in southeastern Kentucky in Harlan, and so I do appreciate, you know, that type of music. But um, so I just all kinds. Anything that's, um, you know, speaking to me at the moment, um, I appreciate. What is your favorite type of dog? <laughs> um, I, I think golden retrievers are beautiful. I think they're smart. Um, I think they're being they're able to be well trained. Uh, my two dogs, so Zoe is a mixed <gasps> breed of border collie and something else. And apparently, border collies are supposed to be really, really bright creatures, but um, sh maybe she's just still immature. She needs a little bit of work on that. Um, and then. Um, Penny is a mix between, actually we had friends of ours bought us the DNA test that you could do for dogs to find out, you know, what breeds they were, if they were mixed breeds. <laughs> and she is 50%, they didn't know, they couldn't give any conclusion, but the other 50%, she was a mix between Chihuahua, Alaskan Eskimo dog, the, um, <coughs> oh, what's the, the wiener dog called? The, the um, Dotson, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think, you know, mixed breeds are good for being very loyal and they don't have a lot of health problems. So mixed breeds are good. Well, is there anything else you would like to tell our audience? Well, I appreciate the offer to come and interview with you guys. I do um, support uh, your shark cast. I'm very proud of you all for what you're doing. You're the first group in Sandersville to ever do this, and so you should be very proud of yourself. Yeah, it was a pleasure having you here, Misty. Thank you. Guys, my name is Addison, your host, as always, and I missed you all so much. I was gone if you all couldn't tell, but welcome to Shark Talk. So excited to do this. How long has it been since we've done Shark Talk? I mean, like, like you guys could have done it without me. Two school weeks. Two, yeah. yeah. No, it was About, like three. Yeah. But, you know, you guys could have done it last week when you guys betrayed me and record. I'm kidding. You, <laughs> could, you record, I don't care. Oh, yeah. What's um, going on, everybody? And we're going to talk about what we did on winter break because it was really fun. I'll start off. Um, what I did is right in the, like, middle of winter break on, like, Wednesday the first week, my parents told me I was going to Disney World and also a bonus, Disney. Universal. Disney. So it was really fun. Disney World was um, amazing. I went to Epcot on New Year's Eve and stayed there um, till New Year's, and it was very fun and awesome. Um, and... Universal. I only got to do Harry Potter World because I'm a Harry Potter nerd right now. So If you haven't watched episode one, go back and watch that. Yeah, you can tell I'm a really big Harry Potter fan in that one. But now I'm on the third book. I was on the first there. But what did you do, Austin? On Oh, when we have Austin, our tech person here today for Shark Talk. Let's, Hi. let's give him a round of applause. I don't need Now let's give him crickets. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare click that button. Don't you dare click that button. Okay. Yeah. We're happy that he's here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just had like family dinners and just played games. Mm, family dinners, always awesome. Yeah, you. Yeah. What did you do, Alpha, for winter break? You make my trip sound like it was nothing, but the reason I wasn't at school for a week was I was in Arizona. It was really fun. <gasps> we oh. rock climbed uh, uh, Arizona's hardest mountain. Uh, we went to highest? the world's... Hardest? Hardest. Oh. Hardest mountain. Uh, we went to the world's only rotating aquarium, and we went to an amusement park, even though I kept on calling it a carnival. But it was really cool. Uh, my favorite part about it was getting to see some um, my uncle. He he's the best. Ooh, my favorite part was seeing my family too. I I love seeing my cousin JJ. He is my heart and soul. Wait, what? Are yeah. you, it's Justin Jefferson? No, <laughs> JJ. His name's Jaden. Oh. But I call him JJ. So what I did? 
I watched the Cincinnati Bengals beat the um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And you know, if there's Chiefs. anything to do with the Bengals, you you were there. Yeah. <laughs> um, if Joe Burrow is listening to this, which he's probably not, you're the best quarterback in the NFL. Patrick Mahomes ain't got nothing on you. Uh, <laughs> you guys couldn't see it, but Sophia, I don't know what her last name is. I yeah. think it's Spears. Uh, but Sophia Spears, when he said Bengals, she started uh, thumbs down and booing. I don't think she's a Bengals fan. She might be a oh. Pittsburgh fan. Or, no. Are you even a football yeah. fan? She just nodded. She's a, she's a football fan. Okay. Yeah, everyone, football. Oh. Ooh. Um. Really quick. I have no idea why I went, oh, because I had nothing on mind. <laughs> <laughs> and it's that one part where your brain glitches and then you have no idea what you were talking about like a few seconds ago. What are you guys going to do during the weekend, though? Oh, um, I don't. Oh, it's my mom's birthday. Let's give a round of applause for Kayla. Yeah. Yay, Kayla. Yeah, my mom's birthday. My nan is actually coming over and cooking dinner. So I'm really excited to see her. And I'm also going shopping. Yeah. You're what? I'm going shopping for my mom's birthday gifts on Friday. Yeah, so like, excited. your what is coming over? My nana. Oh. Uh, Basically, like, yeah. Yeah, I know what it means. Uh, um, I'm going to a wedding. <gasps> oh, I love weddings. I was the flower girl in the last wedding. It was Wait, um my you friend's like weddings? wedding. They're so long. <laughs> the la- oh. Bro, weddings are the best, okay? The I last know. wedding I went no. to, okay, I every wedding I go to, I mean, so I do something important, and it's always so fun doing stuff. But uh, this time, I think I'm either a regular person or one of the best men. Or something like that. Yeah. But it's my cousin's wedding, and it's going to be a really amazing. <gasps> Your cousins. Yeah. Oh. Well, we've been, I've been saying they're my cousins since I was born, but they're really family friends, but we can uh, consider them my cousins. Nice. My favorite part about weddings is dressing up. Oh, my gosh, I love dressing up. If, if you you're hearing this, if you're hearing this, shout out to you. Okay. Anyway. Nice. Mm-hmm. So here's what I'm going to do over the weekend. You can already guess what I'm going to do. You can watch my Cincinnati Bengals play the Baltimore Ravens and demolish <sighs> them. Oh, you better. Uh, okay, the if they lose, you owe me 10 bucks. Bet. Just because how much smack you're talking. Austin, Bet. what are you doing? And I, and I owe you nothing if they win. Austin, what are you doing? Nothing. Nothing? nothing. Okay, come to Alpha and Addison for the weddings. I've never been to a wedding, <gasps> but if they have cake... I'm yes, going. they have cake <coughs> all the time. If they don't have cake, it's not a wedding. Cake. I mean, like, I'm not gonna lie. I'd rather have pie lie. at my wedding. I'm not going to lie. Cake, cake, I haven't, cake, been, ooh, I haven't cake, been to cake, a wedding. If, it, if it's pumpkin pie? I really haven't. All pies I'm, I'm going to steal it. Unless it's pecan pie. Pecan pie, I hate nuts. But oh. all pies are great. Yeah. If, it, if it's pumpkin pie, I'm going to steal it. Oreo pie. pie is the best. <coughs> Oreo pie is, like, awesome. Wait, hold up. They make they make pies out of sweets? Yeah. I only heard it like a oh my gosh. pie made out of brownies. We should talk about what we're doing, uh, what we're really excited about doing when we're out of school. Um, can I go first? Sure. Yeah, I'll no. go first. <laughs> no. You go first. No, you can go first. I'm kidding. Okay, yeah. I know. Um, I'm going to Railbird. I'm so excited. It's um, through um, June. <laughs> Sorry, my brain just glitched. Um, June 3rd through ju- June 4th. I hope I see some of you all there. And it's awesome. <gasps> Mr. Shouse is going. You're playing? Oh my gosh. You are? I'm like. Cole Chaney. Ooh. Cole Chaney. Nice. Oh my gosh. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, go watch him play. Big shout If you're out. Mr. Shouse's class and you don't watch him play, are you even Miss Mr. Shouse's class? No, you. But, uh,. That's that's amazing. Yeah, it is. That's really awesome, and that's so cool. Yeah, that is. Why is he throwing punches? It looked like he was throwing punches for a second. He's doing the Dougie. <laughs> Hit the Dougie. Hit the Dougie. <laughs> He's, <laughs> <gritty>. <laughs> He's trying to do the gritty. He's now. gritty. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I should have recorded that. Can you do that? And he's flossing. Oh he's trying to, at least. Hey, get, get him, Mr. Shaw. Can I record this? Can I record this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in to Shark Talk. Yes, wait, I hold on, hold on. Before so we go, oh yeah, I just wanted to make a bet. Okay, 
rock, paper, scissors me real quick. If Ooh. I win, then remember that challenge we did a long time ago where like one of us had to eat mustard? You ready? Oh, yeah, yeah. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win. Um, yeah. We gotta go. And okay. I'm, I'm We're gonna, gonna go get mustard. that mustard. Wait. From the cafeteria. Before we yeah, end. Guys. Yeah. Um. Peanuts. What? <laughs> oh my God. Hey, y'all. So today we have some very, very, very big and amazing news. We have some new people joining SharkCast. Hey. Hey. And today we will be introducing them. <laughs> Hi, my name is Addison. Hi, my name is Bella. Hi, my name is Nala. Hi, my name is Sophia. Hi, my name is Izzy. And hi, my name is Ava. Hi, my name is Arajane. And today, we'll be learning a few things about them. So, first, we'll go around and say what our favorite food is. Me, personally, mine is pizza. Mm. Mine is chicken. Mine is my dad's homemade um, ravioli. Mm. Mine is pizza. Mm. Yeah. Personally, I don't have a favorite food. Uh, mm. Um, mine is burgers. Ooh. Mine's probably steak. Ooh. Yeah, I would have to say steak or chicken. Mmm, those sound like really good. I'm getting hungry listening to y'all <laughs> right now. Those <laughs> sound so delicious. Okay, next question. We're gonna go around and say what our favorite color is. Me personally, mine is blue or black or green. I love green. Sage green. Red. Blue. Black. Either blue. blue or purple. Purple. Um, rose gold and teal. Ooh, rose gold. I actually have rose gold on my nose right now. Okay, another question. We're gonna go around and say what our favorite animal is. Me personally, mine is probably a snake or a dog. Mine is also a dog. A rabbit. Mine is a dog. Mine's a cat. A cat or a jerk. My favorite animal is a tiger. My favorite animal is probably a baby rabbit. Ooh, those are all really cute and also fun animals, it sounds like. Okay, so our next question is, why did you want to join SharkCast? I'll let this just go wild. We don't have to be in, like, a whole entire line group. <laughs> okay. Um, I wanted to join SharkCast because I wanted to, like, have, like, a turn to speak or, like, you know. Mm, that's a very good reason. I would, I would take that reason, too. Hmm. I joined SharkCast because I just thought it would be a, um, a great experience. Ooh, it is a pretty great experience, like, having so much fun here, and we've been making, like, so many good memories and friends with Parker, Alpha, and Alexis and Austin from now, and especially Mr. Shouse. Mm -hmm. Love Mr. Yeah. Yeah, um, definitely. I wanted to join SharkCast because I wanted to try something new to do during my week so I can have some more things to do and meet new people at the school. Mm, nice. I wanted to join SharkCast because uh, based off of what other people said, I want to have a good experience and make new friends. Mm, that's pretty, pretty good. I joined SharkCast because I wanted to have a great experience because I do nothing at the school except, like, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to join SharkCast so I can learn a little bit more about tech and how to do a podcast. I, would, I wanted to join SharkCast because um, I have done a commercial on SharkCast, and um, I thought it was really cool. And like what Nala said, um, I would like to make new friends. Yeah, definitely. And welcome, you all. We are so happy to have you here. We're making new friends and everything, and it's yeah. so fun. Wow, it's hard to believe that that was episode number eight of SharkCast. We do appreciate everyone that listens and supports this podcast, everyone from the PTA to Mr. Marsh and all the 
students and staff at Sandersville Elementary. It's such an honor to be a part of a great team like this. We hope you have a great three-day weekend. Enjoy your Martin Luther King Day, and we'll see you back here at school on Tuesday.